Just got out of my first Invisalign appointment. Um, I actually had a consultation before this, but this was my actual first appointment. I guess my consult was a half, maybe two months ago. Um, I just got my trays today, which I discovered are actually temporary. The real trays come, I guess, in about three weeks. Um, and in my second appointment with the real trays is when uh, they add the attachments if you need them. Um, and if you haven't, research it like crazy like I tend to do with everything, uh, this will be news to you. Um, you don't just get trays in most cases. Actually almost all cases require these attachment things and essentially what they are is they're small brackets that apparently they attach with kind of an adhesive, uh, kind of a super glue, uh, but obviously they can remove it or whatever. Uh, but they'll put them on some of your teeth depending on what they're attempting to do. If they're trying to straighten them, if they're fixing crowding, if they're just um, uh, bringing out an underbite or fixing an overbite or whatever. Anyway, some people require attachments. And so doing my research, I knew that might be a very likely possibility. So I asked today, because of course I didn't mention it in my consultation. Um, and I have, I'm getting 10, which I'm not really happy about because they actually stick on the outside of your teeth and they protrude some. Obviously when your trays are in and they're covered with the guards, you're not gonna see them or feel them per se. Uh, but still, I don't really want a bunch of stuff attached to my teeth, you know, but hey, the price to pay. Um, what else? So yeah, these actually aren't too bad. Uh, they went in pretty easily. Your first habit when you're putting them in is to obviously bite down and kind of apply pressure and make sure they're on all the way. But be very careful because they can crack and break. Um, and if you're like me, I just want to get this over with, get my teeth square. And so I don't want to chip them, I don't want to break them. That way I've got to, you know, request another pair. He did mention if for any reason a corner chips off, it bends, it gets out of shape, um, don't try to rebend it back. He said to take like some toenail clippers or some fingernail clippers and just clip off, um, you know, the portion that's messed up or whatever. And I guess that makes more sense. Um, other than that, my teeth don't hurt. They want on fairly easily. I don't have any fingernails actually because I bite them, or at least I did. Uh, with these things in, I'm kind of thinking I won't be able to now. So, um, yeah, I don't know how hard they're going to be to take off. And um, I don't know if you can see them or not. They're pretty clear. I'll just show you. And it's interesting too because the few friends that I've told I'm getting these, um, I basically told them, oh, yeah, you know, I'm thinking about getting braces. And, oh, really? Why do you need braces? I said, well, my braces in Invisalign. And, really? Are your teeth messed up? And I said, no, not necessarily. They just, they've always kind of bothered me, you know. It's a big part of the reason I don't smile with teeth in pictures. Anyway, you don't care about that. Yeah, first appointment, first trays, which, again, are temporary. Um, they feel okay. They don't hurt yet. He said they're probably going to hurt later, take some Tylenol. Uh, but I'm optimistic. I'll be all good. So, yeah, first appointment. And uh, I'll let you guys know again how, when I get my permanence or if I've got anything to update. Feel free to ask any questions below. Um, you're doing a good thing by researching this. There's a lot of new technology out there. There's lots of new things the man wants to push on us and profit from. Uh, you got to do your due diligence. Due diligence. Learning how to talk with these still. Um, and look up stuff. Uh, get as much information as you can on your own before you ask them. Because nine times out of ten, they're going to tell you what you want to hear or what they want you to hear, not what you need to hear. So uh, hopefully you found this helpful, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.